Yo, what's going on guys? Back with yet another video. We're going to be talking about the update that just dropped yesterday. I wasn't able to record yesterday because uh, I was got caught up with my other video, the Flame Guy video. But yeah, other than that, I'm here to talk about today's update, or yesterday's update. And we're going to go over some of the content that was added for us today. So, it looks like this week around we didn't get that much content at all. It was mostly like patches and stuff, which is not bad. It's really good stuff, but yeah. Start off today, we have Lapless. So the guy you talk to in Lord's Grove to get enchants. Now, a lot of people this past day have been complaining about this change where, oh no, enchants should be harder to get. Enchants should be something that we should work for. All this and that. Man, you guys are fucking dumbasses. <laughs> Uh, I'm so glad that enchants are not like able to get by everyone. Not anyone can just go endgame pretty much, which is cool. Uh, the more people that have enchants will be able to figure out like which enchants are actually meta viable for PvE slash PvP. This is really good stuff right here, honestly. I like the fact that we're able to get the enchants like super easily now. That's really nice. It also like lets players that don't play the game 9 to 5, fucking 9 to 5ers who play deep Woken all day, you know, they can get enchants now. Or like their friends who do play 9 to 5, you know. You know, you can give them the enchants, so like, oh yeah, I got three armor enchants, three tokens you can redeem from the prize box, you know what I'm talking about? Like, come on, dude. This update's a win for everybody. Uh, for the trading community, I feel bad for you guys. You guys are in shambles right now. So I guess we're gonna have to stack up on them three-star weapons and armor enchants. Um, four new faces for Ganymede. Uh, I saw the faces, are pretty cool. Nice cosmetics. Cool, cool stuff, cool stuff. Uh, you can now view monster ingredients. I noticed this when I was in game. I did not notice like when I was reading the patch overs yesterday, but really cool stuff. It's nice. In fact, you can read them now on the campfire screen. Uh, tell me in chance for, you know, this is kind of needed. At least there's a base price, so that's cool. 200 nodes or above. Uh, turning your sales. I did not notice this in game. I don't know if this even works. Probably does. Maybe it doesn't, but I don't really notice it. NPC's mom not have facial hair. I, I saw a person post on Twitter that they actually had facial hair and it was weird. But, uh, yeah. Uh, eating elemental ingredients now give you full... Wait, now grants you training in that element. That's actually... Oh, yeah, this is nice. Hold on, you can actually train by eating elemental ingredients. That's cool. That's nice. That's actually a good change. Not needed, but, you know, it's a good change. Elemental unbound talents don't give 10 HP. I was at 496 HP before this update. Now I'm at 5-something. I was at 506. Yeah, I'm at 506 now. So this is cool. Back to 500 HP. <laughs> uh, cooldown for now fighting Duke is lower. This is nice, you know, get them enchant rates up, you know what I'm saying? Buff bounty chest loot. This is cool for, you know, well, I think this affects Voidwalker as well. I'm not too sure. It probably does. This is cool stuff. Bounty loot changes. Fix bleed damage being blocked slash dodgeable. Wait, it wasn't supposed to be blocked dodgeable? Damn. Actually, I guess... Now this is actually pretty nice now that I think about it because now I won't like force proc your dodges. So that's cool. Not like, yeah, that's actually nice. This is the good change for PvP, I feel like. Dark Steel crit cooldown is not five seconds. That Dark Steel crit, I don't know. We've been seeing it a lot in game. It's I feel like it's falling off meta now. Just dodge it or, you know, period. Time is getting used to. And that's the thing about these like special crits. Like after you learn and play for a while fighting against them, they become obsolete. Like it doesn't matter. Four seconds. I feel like I should go back to four seconds. That's just me though, but whatever. Uproar. I had no, no idea why this was a rare for like the longest time. <laughs> uh, Chronostase is now 40. This is nice. That makes sense, I guess, because you don't really get bells until like level 40 above, so it's nice. Full reset. I'm pretty sure this doesn't even fucking work against mobs still. I'm not entirely sure, but I'm certain, almost certain it doesn't even work against mobs. Like if you kill a mob, you can't pop another bell, which is dumb. Should be able to. But now that it's no longer rare, that's cool too. Blood Frenzy. Uh, I think this is the one if you grip someone, you get extra speed or damage. I don't know. Something like that. Lord Gigamed Aggro Range. Uh, King Gigamed just needs to be reworked in general, in my opinion. This is just a band aid fix for whatever the fuck. They're like they're a little lazy or something. Just give it proper animations. The sound cue is abysmal. Like, I don't know, dude. The, uh, the HP slightly nerfed, like this is just, these, these are just literally band-aid fixes. Just give it animation so we can actually react to the mob. Um, non-lesser brain suckers, yeah, these mobs, uh, they're fodder. <laughs> Asian's ring change, I guess this change was done because like back then how damage was calculated was like multiplicative or something, now it's additive, so. I guess it's reverted back, I believe this is what it was in base, but I'm not entirely sure. 
Uh, buff resistance is elemental res, like fire armor and eight stats on torso equipment. That's cool. That's nice. Uh, Drown Knight gives base 5% armor, 10 percent damage. Yeah, this is cool. This is actually nice. Especially if you get like a drowned uh, Diver's Light Plate. Like this literally built for hell mode, you know what I'm saying? Flintlock range buff. Uh, I don't know why this was needed. I guess maybe to like be in line with the other guns. But that's about it. Reduce Y-Hander. I don't know if this is only Y-Hander in general or if it's like the alloy. It might be in general. Which is not bad. One second is actually not bad. Especially now this alloy was so That's cool. Nemet Sickle now appearing as a legendary rarity, rarity instead of mythic. Uh, these daggers are both shit. They both need their buffs respectively. Uh, maybe give Kanor Fang a uh, actual alloy. Nemesicle's fine, just needs like damage buff or whatever. Reduce the pen. I mean, you can keep the pen, I guess, but it, and give it higher scaling. But dude, Nemesicle's just not it. <laughs> I approve hitboxes on Widow attacks. Uh, I guess they. I remember them patching Widow cheese, so I guess that's a part of it as well. You can't just hit him up the rock. Gathering electricity, lightning damage, no longer affected by lightning armor. No. Oh, okay. I see, I see. Then, of course, we have a bunch of bug fixes. Uh, not many bug fixes that we need to worry about here. Just bug fixes. Uh, uh, fix rapid punches and strong leap being buffed by certain fire and light fire mantras. I don't know if this is counting towards, like, health partisan proccing on any mantra you use. It probably is counting that. But if it isn't, yeah, you can proc health partisan. You can proc some fire talents on like non-fire mantras which is weird because like you pop gaze and then you'll randomly drop a health partisan on someone it's kind of funny but yeah not many not many things to be talking about here i guess in terms of content a lot of bug fixes and optimization keep it up devs you're doing good but yeah without further ado peace out see you guys on the next one stay tuned for my andrew tape build